since the replacement of drivers is involved for the Wii side of things, I've considered that kind of work as a sort of sensitive technical procedure and have issued a disclaimer. Please pause and read before continuing. Arguably the most difficult function in Dolphin to understand and get working is the use of a microphone. This tutorial will cover both uses of the microphone in Dolphin Emulator for Wii and GameCube. First and foremost, I would highly suggest a newer version of Dolphin after version 5.0-12000. Something I won't gloss over is the fact that you will want two microphones if that is at all possible for you. The reason for this being that the aforementioned driver replacement for the Wii to work is totally unnecessary for the GameCube side of things. Think of it as if you actually had both physical consoles, and the fact that the microphones used for each one are just different. It is possible to use one microphone, but the problem with it is that you'll be bouncing back and forth between third-party software called Zadig to replace drivers every time you want to use the Wii, and then being forced to roll back drivers via device manager every time you want to use the GameCube. So, in order to avoid as many headaches as possible, two microphones is strongly recommended. The most frustrating thing regarding this whole situation is that even now with one of the most up-to-date versions of Dolphin, the ability to simply pick a microphone from a list is not yet an option. So if you're hoping you'll find the name of the mic you want somewhere in Dolphin itself in some big convenient drop-down menu, you will be disappointed. For the rest of these instructions, keep in mind if you have a preference on which microphone will be dedicated to which console. Let's start with the GameCube. Plug in or enable the microphone of your choice, then right-click the sound icon, open the volume mixer, and click the system sounds icon. There's a chance you'll have to click it a bunch of times like I do. This will open the sound window. You can also go through the control panel, hardware and sound, and then sound. Click the recording tab and identify the microphone you want to use, and set that microphone as the default device. This is because for the GameCube, Dolphin only tries using the default microphone. Caution, this may screw with your current settings for other applications. Please check other application settings now if that's something you're worried about. If you have a microphone plugged in and you know it works and you don't see it in the recording tab, there's a chance you've already tried tinkering with Zadig before coming to this video. Don't worry, I'll get to that later. In Dolphin, go to Config and GameCube and set slot B to Microphone. Clicking the Browse button here will open a dialog to map a button that acts as the button on the original microphone. You can map this button to anything, even a fifth controller or your keyboard or mouse. But I would suggest a button that is infrequently used on the controllers. Typically, Z is a pretty safe bet. However, a microphone that has any number of buttons on it, like the Xbox 360 MIC controller, would be a great choice here. Right-click the button box and identify the button of your choice by selecting the appropriate input device, clicking detect, pressing the button you want to use, then selecting that input after clicking on it. Do the same process for all controllers if necessary by using the add function under the operators tab. When finished, close all remaining dialogues and check to make sure your microphone works. Assuming all's well, let's carry on to the Wii. Unplug and disable all other microphones except the one you're trying to use. This just makes things easy. At the time of making this video, you'll have to download another program called Zadig. This program is what enables you to replace the drivers necessary. Risky business for the ill-experienced, but the method that's necessary here. Go to zadig.akeo.ie and download the latest version. Plug your mic in and open Zadig. In the Options tab, make sure List All Devices is checked on, as well as Ignore Hubs or Composite Parents. Identify your mic in the drop-down menu. It should say the word microphone for this device. If you see no names that clearly resemble a microphone, 
take note of all the available devices, unplug your mic, then take note again of what's left. Plug it back in and you should be able to identify your mic now. Now the most important part. Make absolutely certain that the device you're about to modify is in fact your microphone. On the right side of the green arrow, scroll through the drivers until you see the LibUSB-K option. Then click Replace Driver. Once the driver is replaced, keep Zadig open and go into Dolphin. Go to Config, then We, and click the Add button under the large box. If you properly perform the Zadig instructions, you should see the name of your microphone in the dialog that appears, in which case, click Add and test it out. Otherwise, continue watching. Also at the top of this dialog, you're prompted to enter a device VID and PID. You can find this information in Zadig respectively called USB ID. If you don't see the name of your microphone in the Dolphin dialog, I would strongly suggest you also go and find this information by going to Device Manager, right-clicking the device, clicking Properties, going to Details, and selecting the second option, Device Instance Path. Among other options on this list, you will then be able to see the letters VID and PID listed somewhere, followed by an underscore and the corresponding USB ID. Now check if the USB IDs match between Zadig and Device Manager, making sure that you're looking at the correct device's properties and that you use the correct device in Zadig. As for those who tried using Zadig before coming to this video or with otherwise malfunctioning microphones, I got you. Go into Device Manager and identify your microphone. There's a chance it won't be called a microphone at all and instead will be listed under either LibUSB-K LibUSB Win32, USB controllers, USB devices, or possibly ports common LPT, in which case it will be called either a USB composite device, USB composite parent, generic USB device, or something more vague depending on the list. If you've searched all those options and struggled to identify your microphone, unplug it, then plug it back in. Device Manager should highlight the device that has just been plugged in. If for whatever reason that's not the case, take note of each list I mentioned, then unplug your device and take note again of each list and any changes. Once you've identified your device, right click, click uninstall, and when given the option to delete driver software, check that box and continue. Then unplug it, wait a few moments, and plug it back in. The device manager will refresh a couple times. Identify the device again. There's a good chance it will have a new name under a new list. And repeat the process until the point where it shows up under LibUSB-K for your Wii mic. A USB switch hub is great for stuff like this. If you're doing this process for the GameCube mic or outside of Dolphin Emulator, repeat the process until it reaches the top option, Audio Inputs and Outputs. This was actually a spot that I struggled with for a long time, so super ultra huge mecha shoutouts to Slowism on this GitHub forum for this tip while I was doing my research on this subject. To reiterate, you only want a microphone to appear and stay in audio inputs and outputs for the GameCube, or a regular microphone unrelated to the use of Dolphin. If you ended up putting the Wii microphone in this group, go back into Zadig and change the driver again. For reference, my Wii microphone is listed under LibUSB-K, and my GameCube mic is under audio inputs and outputs. And yes, you can still use driver-changed mics with real consoles without hassle. Boom, boom, yeah, I see that. That right there is proof that it works. Bippity boppity. Boom.